Sean's music centres around the English and Irish harmonica traditions, and he plays a mixture of lively dance tunes and reflective airs on chromatic, diatonic and tremolo harmonica. He also plays Irish on the tin whistle and flute and sings English songs. In October, he was named National Harmonica Champion in the Melodic Folk Tunes category and was 2022 Coltus All-Britain Champion and All-Ireland Finalist in the Mouth Organ category. He's also played gigs this past year at Sidmouth Festival, Twick Folk and the inaugural Bristol Folk Club and previously performed with the National Youth Folk Ensemble. He says, to date, their only harmonicist and the Bath Youth Folk Band at festivals across the country. Well, there you go. He's making his way down now. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our second performer this afternoon, Sean Spicer. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's lovely to be here. Thank you so much for inviting me. Uh, and... Uh, Thank you to Amy for that beautiful set. Um, I will be starting mine on the chromatic harmonica, which is um, less familiar in the folk tradition, more familiar to fans of Stevie Wonder and Larry Adler. Um, <laughs> and I will be playing two fairly well-known Morris tunes, I would imagine, those being Radstock and Iron Legs. If you bear with me a second, I have some impromptu amplification. <laughs> um, 
happen because... Oh, yes, of course. Thank you. Sorry. I was told about that earlier and I completely ignored it. <laughs> um, I will now be playing the tremolo harmonica, which is um, more indigenous to Irish, Scottish and Northumbrian tradition. Um, and I will be playing one of my competition pieces for the um, recent regional FLA, where I, run, I won the gold medal two weekends ago. Um, and this is a slow air called Chien of Wheel, which is known in English as Lord Mayo. And I hope this thing is working. As being a harmonicist, I'm a tin whistler, flautist, lots of airy things. Um, <laughs> and so far, I've done one set of English tunes and one set of Irish tunes, so now I think, why not do both at the same time? Um, in a slightly more complicated way, this is um, 
a tune called The Irish March, which was originally, originally written by William Byrd back in the Renaissance period, um, but was rearranged for Illoin Pipes by Liam O'Flynn of Planksty, um, uh, popularised on their words and music album. Um, and so I decided to go back to the manuscript and add some extra variations based on Byrd's original piece to what Liam arranged. Okay, um, this is going to be my last number. Thank you so much for having me. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure to play for you today. Um, my last number, I will be finally playing the diatonic harmonica, the blues harp. Um, this is very much an English traditional instrument. Um, and usually in the set, I play a song tune, but I thought, oh, it's New Roots today, I'll step it up a bit and actually sing something. So um, I'm going to have a go at a song from the singing of Mae Bradley, a traveller singer from Shropshire, and that's called The Blue-Eyed Lover. Uh, and I'm going to put that with an Irish hornpipe called The Little Stack of Wheat, and a Morris tune called the Shepton Mallet Hornpipe. If you notice, I've tried to play lots of tunes with West Country titles. <laughs>
Once I courted a blue-eyed lover And he thought the world of me But now he's gone and found another And he hardly thinks no more of me Oh, it was his two blue eyes that ticed me, ticed me from my happy home. And though so cruelly he has left me, he is the father of my child. And although I know that my mother wants me And my brother's just the same Well, it's both my sisters turned against me My father hangs his head with tears and although my clothes, they are getting ragged They shall keep my baby warm Sleep on, sleep on my blue-eyed treasure Your father won't be very long